just like cake. <laughs> It's me, Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. For today's video, you're gonna be joining me to see if this cake from a vending machine is worth it or not. The cakes that we're gonna be trying out today are actually from the famous Carlos Bake Shop. If you're not familiar with that, they actually have their own show on TLC called Cake Boss. So they have four cake ATMs here in Ottawa, and we're gonna go to one of the locations and see if they live up to the hype. You never need an occasion to eat cake, okay? So we're gonna go now. Alright you guys, I'm gonna try the red velvet first. That looks beautiful. I can taste the cream cheese right away. The cake is nice and moist. Like really moist. Hmm. It's not too sweet, which I like. Hmm, I like this one. I think the best thing about this is that you can actually taste the cream cheese right away. And the cake itself is not dry. It's super moist. It doesn't crumble in your mouth, if you know what I mean. You know those dry cakes that you get and it just like crumbles into your mouth and you can feel them when you swallow it. This one doesn't do that. Mm. It's a good flavor. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm almost done. We still have the other cake to try though. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna try the other one. Ooh, this one fell apart. So this one is their rainbow cake. It looks super fun. All right, let's try this one. I bought it just because it looks so fun. Just like cake. <laughs> it tastes like birthday cake. It's just like a regular vanilla cake. Obviously, these are just food colorings, but still, the cake itself is super moist. Hmm, I like the red velvet more. This one is just so fun to look at. I mean, look at that. 
But in terms of flavor, the red velvet is what I would go for. They didn't have the chocolate though. I passed by there like a couple of times. There was a, maybe they ran out, I don't know. Maybe next time. The frosting is too sweet for me. I definitely like the red velvet cake better. This one looks super fun though. Let me look at that. I ate half of both. <laughs> I'm a pig. Their cakes are really nice and moist, but in terms of flavor, I would say my favorite one is a red velvet, although I didn't try the other flavors, maybe next time. I didn't like the rainbow cake because it was too sweet for me, but I'm sure people out there um, would like it. It's just not my thing. But um, was it worth it though? Like it was $10 each. Was it worth it? I feel like it's a good thing to try. Because you can say that, oh yeah, I've tried the cakes from Cake Boss, you know, that kind of stuff. But would I buy it again? Probably not because it's too pricey. The cakes are really good, but I just don't think that it's worth $10 each per slice. Like. I think it's too pricey and I think it's a little overhyped, but I'm really glad that I tried it. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys try this cake and you liked it or you didn't like it, let me know in the comments section. I want to know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.